Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the design strength due to yielding, rupture and block shear. So let's start with the video. See, what these terms are, yielding, rupture and block shear, these are nothing but the types of failures in tension member. How a particular tension member can fail, that is what it indicates. So, the first type of failure is your cross section yielding. Now, what is cross section yielding? As the name says, for example, let us imagine that there is a plate here. There is a plate here, which is of steel, steel section, and it is subjected to an external loading. There is an external loading over it, and because of that, that particular member will have deformation longitudinally or it will have deformation like this. So, if this particular deformation is there, it will go on increasing and it will increase and increase and finally, there will be a fracture of this member. So, that is nothing but your section yielding. Now, what is yielding? Yielding is basically deformation yielding means the deformation of the member but if deformation is very large your section will become unserviceable so that is what this gross section yielding indicates see what it says generally a tension member without bolt holes can resist loads up to the ultimate load without failure if there is a tension member and it does not have any bolts so that particular member can resist ultimate load up to the failure it's without failure it can resist that load for example this member is subjected to a load of 100 kilo newton so up and up to 100 kilo newton this particular member can resist the load if it is designed so but such member will also have some deformation in the longitudinal direction longitudinal means along the length it will have certain deformation it may be general generally 10 to 15 percent of its original length and before fracture there will be a large deformation and if the deformation is very large that structure will become unserviceable and that type of failure will be the cross section yielding means the deformation failure now as per is code there is a formula for the calculation of this yield strength so it is given by TDG is equal to AG into FY divided by gamma M0. Now, which IS code is used for that? The IS code is IS800-2007. This IS code will be used in our complete syllabus, this design of steel structures. We will use this IS code only. So, this IS code has given this formula. If you want to calculate the design tensile strength of in yielding or cross section yielding you have this formula ag into fy divided by gamma m0 now what is tdg it is the design tensile strength of member due to cross section yielding or in cross section yielding and it is given by ag into fy divided by gamma m0 now what is ag ag means the gross area we have two concepts first is net area and second one is gross area so we have seen the concept of net area and gross area means the total area without any deductions for the whole so net this is your net area an and this is your gross area ag so ag means the gross area without any deduction for the bolt holes that is that area this area so this area you have to take fy fy we generally take in this numericals as 250 mp and gamma m0 gamma m0 it is taken as generally 1.10 so that is what it has written here p is the factor design tension or the design strength then ag ag is the gross area of cross section or gross sectional area it is all generally measured in mm square and fy is the yield strength of material and it is taken in mpa and it is generally taken as 250 and gamma m0 factor of safety and it is generally taken as 1.10 okay 
so this is the type of failure and from which is code we have taken this is 800 2007 and even it has chapter this is code has chapter design of pension member so in that design of pension members in that chapter you will find this formulas even with the this values what is ag what is tdg that is also written then the second type of failure is net section rupture first type was what we have seen this cross section yielding now the second type of failure is net section rupture now what is rupture see when a tension member with hole is loaded statically the point adjacent to the hole reaches the yield stress first and on further loading the stress at that point remains constant at yield stress and each fiber away from the hole progressively reaches the yield stress now I'll explain you in simple terms what happens when you hold this when you make holes in this steel members so the area which is surrounding this holes it is very critical for the failure means for example this is your plate and it has one hole for the bolt like this there is a hole here so this surrounding area it is very critical for the failure and if and it will have yield stress very less yield stress first there will be deformation then if you increase if you go on increasing the loads there will be finally a failure what will happen finally your member will fail so when entire cross section of the member reaches the ultimate stress there will be rupture of this plate plate or the member you can use plate or the angles i'll tell you separately formulas what are the formulas for that so this surrounding area it will have rupture so this type of failure is called as net section rupture now what is the formula for that see is code has given basically three formulas first one formula for the plate and these two formulas for the angles if you are using plate then we have this formula and for angle we have two formulas so first we will talk about the formula for the plates it is given by 0.9 an into fu divided by gamma m1 0.9 0 .9, 0 0.9 we will keep as it is an we have seen what concept of an that is net area we have also seen the numericals on calculation of net area for plates and the angles so for plates we have seen zigzag bolting we have seen chain bolting we have also seen how to calculate the net area so from that concept you will have to first find out the net area then you will have to multiply it by fu now what is fu i have told you it is generally taken as 410 mpa and gamma m1 it is taken as 1.25 see this is also given here gamma m1 is the partial safety factor for the material tdn is the design strength in fracture an is the net effective area or net area and fu is the ultimate strength of the material in mp so this is your net rupture but it is for plate now we have also we have to also see two formulas for the angle so let's see what are the formulas for the angle see the tearing strength of the angle section connected through one leg is affected by shear lag also and the design strength tdn is governed by tearing at net section of the member which is given by like this see what it says in simply you have to remember actually you will not have to remember this formula because in exam also this is code is allowed this is code which have which i have told you just right now is 800 2007 it is is code this is code is allowed in the exam and all these formulas are given there so you don't have to mug up this you don't have to remember this formulas so that formula for plate this is the case one as i told you you will have two formulas for the angles so you can calculate this tdn that is design tensile strength in rupture for the angle this one is first and it is given by 0 0.9 ancfu divided by gamma m1 plus beta into ago divided into fy divided by gamma m0 now i have told you what is fu what is fy what is gamma m1 and what is gamma m0 fu this is 410 250 this is 1.25 and this is 1.10 1 
now what is anc and what is ago this we have also seen in calculation of net area for the calculation of net area of angle we add them together anc plus ago that is your net area so this concept we have also seen now remains only the beta see this long formula of beta it is also given in the is code 1.4 minus 0.076 into w by t into fy by fu into bs by lc it should be less than or equal to fu into gamma m0 divided by fy into gamma m1 and it should be greater than or equal to 0.7 now what is this w what is this t see t is t you know that it is will be with the thickness of angle now what what is w what is bs what is lc this i will show you in the numerical actually this is also given in the is code but i'll show you how to calculate this one in the numericals so this is your first case for the net section rupture let's see the second formula this one is your second formula tdn is equal to alpha into an into fu divided by gamma m1 now the value of alpha we have various values of alpha alpha can be taken as 0.6 0.7 and 0.8 but where to take 0.7 0.8 and 0.76 whatever it is that i will show you in the numerical now comes an an is the net area addition of anc and ago fu i have told you gamma m1 i have told you so you can easily find out tdn and minimum of these two values will be taken as final net section rupture strength for example this one is you have calculated and it comes as 50 kilonewton and this one comes as 45 kilonewton so which one is minimum obviously this one is minimum so whichever is the minimum that you will take final strength as uh, strength of net rupture strength in net rupture section okay then the third one third case block shear that is what we have learned rupture yielding rupture and block shear now what is block shear the block shear phenomena becomes a possible mode of failure when the material bearing strength and bolt shear strength are higher as indicated earlier the appropriate model of the block shear uh, failure is rupturing of the net section plate and yielding of the cross section which is shown in the figure which results in now i'll show you in explained terms let uh, let's do not confuse this one what happens as you can see in the picture here the load will be applied in this direction this point is very important huh? the block shear phenomena becomes possible when material bearing strength and bolt shear strength are higher you have bolt strength higher one and material strength also higher one in that case this particular block will fail because we have bolt bolt will not fail but your complete block will save, get separate away and this separation of complete block away from this because of the application of loading after the application of loading that will be the block shear as the name says complete block will get separate out and the type of pattern will be like this so that type of failure will be block shear failure now comes the question what are the formulas for that even for this also we have two formulas so let's see what are the formulas first one is actually it is denoted by tdb okay first one we have seen yielding it is denoted by what tdg rupture it is denoted by tdn it has two formulas for angle and one formulas for plate and tdb it also has two formulae tdb1 and tdb2 so out of this all value which one is minimum that will be your final strength that will be the final strength of your member i'll show you for the formulas it is avg into fu divided by root 3 into gamma m0 and again this formula is also given in the is code so plus 0.9 atn into fu divided by gamma m1 this is one formula and another formula 0.9 avn into fu divided by root 3 into gamma m1 plus atg fy divided by gamma m0 so now comes the question what is this avg what is this atn what is this atg and what is this avn so this four values avg atn avn and atg this formula is this four terms i will explain you in numerical it is very simple to calculate these four values i'll show you and it will be definitely fitted into your brain without that i will not go further so these four values you can easily calculate 
and how you can calculate that i'll show you in the numerical so let us assume that first you have calculated the tdg which we have seen in the first one first slide and you calculated it as 70 kN. just for the example i'm saying TDN values, let us assume that it is angle only, so we will ignore plate value, we will not calculate that, only two formulas we will uh, consider and we have calculated one is 65 and another one is 72 and TDB1 we have calculated as 63 and uh, another one is, let us assume that it is 75, okay. Now TDG, it is 70. So this one is okay. Out of these two, which one is minimum? TDN 65 is minimum. So TDN will be 65. Out of this, which one is minimum? 63 is minimum. So 63, all right. So which one is the final? Which one is the minimum one? Which one is the minimum? This one is the minimum. So this one will be your final strength and it will be denoted by TD. So this is your final strength. Minimum of all these values. So this we have to also solve in the numerical also that if you don't understand this concept, it is very easy. I'll also explain you in the numerical also. So this was the video on concept behind design strength due to yielding, rupture and the block sheet. Thank you.